Welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to blur a background in Canva. It's pretty easy to do, but you will need Canva Pro. So if you do want to follow along, I will leave my link down below in the description. The good thing about Canva Pro is they do come with a free trial, so you can at least test it out. So here's going to be the image that I want to use right here. I'm going to click on this. And just for the sake of this, let's make it a little bit bigger. So it's pretty much like around the same size. And we'll move it right, let's say right there looks great. Okay. What I want to do now is actually duplicate this. So if we go right here, we can do duplicate page. We're going to come back to this one later. Okay, let's go back to the original and click on it. From here, let's go to simply edit image. Here we want to blur the background. So if you haven't seen or used blur yet, like for me, it's recently used, it's going to be there. It's also going to be here. But in case you haven't used it, probably one of the easiest ways is just to type it in. And of course, you can click on it from there. Let's do blur. And let's do auto. And just like that, it's going to blur the image. Now we can change around the intensity. That's going to really be up to you. You can play around with it. Don't worry that the face or, you know, the body is going to be blurred. We're going to change that. Let's just do apply very quickly. And just like that, we are good there. Next, let's move on over to the other image that we had duplicated. Let's click on this very quickly and go to edit image. This is where Canva Pro comes in. We're going to be using, let's go back here, the uh, background remover. So let's click on that and it's going to remove everything except the actual person here. And just like that, our background has been removed. Don't worry that it's a little under there. That's going to be completely fine. Let's click on apply. And just like that, we have a person without a background. So going back over to number one, let's click on this. And what we want to do is elements. And under elements, we're going to be looking for, scroll down ever so slightly, the grids. So all you really need to do is just click on it once. And our grid is going to show up right there. Moving back on over to two, all we have to do is drag and drop until it kind of locks into the specific spot it needs to be. So let's click on it, hold it, oops, and drag and drop. And you'll notice it kind of locked in the place there. And just like that, we have a blurred background in Canva with the person in front. We can delete this because we don't have two now. And that looks fantastic if you ask me. So the main thing that you're going to want to play around with once again is going to be like the blur. When we did the intensity, if you want much more, you can do that if you want much less. But I think this makes the photo look fantastic, especially if it's like a portrait. I even think in I have an iPhone and they have like a portrait mode and usually pictures come out like that when you take them. They look phenomenal. And I think this one looks great as well. So that's going to be the tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.